After spending much time researching relics in the library of Arudin, I was told of one held by a paladin hailing from the Temple of Life in the town of Kinos. I read through scriptures to confirm these allegations before setting forth on a quest to acquire such a relic. I arrived in Kinos and searched the town. In the tome it reads, Find the gift of Akanon, and path behind. Then you shall find, not far from there, the home of the Shining Star of Light, and its owner, Astaid Vemor. Astaid, I presume? That would be me. Are you here to help, or are you just wasting my time? I am here about the relic known as the Shining Star of Light. Do you possess it still? I do, but I must ask you to help me first. Please, travel to the Huffling Town of Rivervale. Upon your arrival, speak with one Kizzy Mintop. Tell her you were sent from the Temple of Life. She will explain the rest. Hurry. As a patron of our temple may lose their life if you take too long. Agreed. I shall make haste. Once I arrived in Rivervale proper, I sought out a halfling named Kizzy Mintop, who apparently sold the ingredient required by Astaid or more. Greetings, halfling. Enough talk there, Chatterbox. You buy lots of herbs. I gotta make a living, not friends. I have been sent by the Temple of Life in Kinos. Oh yes, they always come for Kizzy's honey jum. They should have sent you next week. What is this honey jum you speak of? It's a secret. I get the honeycomb and combine it with the secret sauce and presto. Honey jum is only used by the wisest as a component. And can only get it from Kizzy. It is also good on batwing crunchies. If you like, Kizzy can make honey jump for you. It would be most kind if you could make honey jump for me. No, no, no. You will not get honey jump until you give Kizzy three honeycombs from Bixie's and 30 gold coins. Honey jump is valuable. Kizzy raised to the fee. That is how it works. I understand. I shall hunt these Bixies for the honeycombs require, and upon my return, you shall have the thirty gold coins for your services. After speaking with the local guards, one spoke of a tower south of the gate of their defensive wall that was known to be infested with Bixies, including the queen of these beasts. I went there as swiftly as I could. Upon my arrival, I was met with a Bixie. It did not take much effort before I had slain the beast. I spent hours at that tower, laying waste to any Bixie I could find. Finally, I was able to get all the honeycombs required. I set out for Rivervale. Once I arrived back at Kizzy's hut, I handed her three honeycombs and the thirty gold she required. You are one lucky Bixie Buster. I just made a batch of honey jam. Here, no waiting for you. One jar for your good work. Bye now. I nod and head out the door and start my journey home. I have procured the ingredient that you requested. I pray to Rajak Knife that you've made it back in time. Let's add a small amount of the honey jam to this vial. Here, here is the potion. This potion must be taken to a sick member of our congregation. The man is Limpek Hargrin. He lives in the west plains of Karana between the river and the crop fields. He is in dire need of this potion. He has an odd disease, and we have tried everything to cure him. And this is his last chance. 
run to him. I ran to Corona as fast as I could, where I found them peck in a small hut. I handed him the potion, but it did not go as suspected. He attacked with foam between his lips. He swung wildly, knocking me unconscious. I spoke with Astaheed again. He gave me a higher concentration of honey jump this time. When I returned to Nampek, I could see the color flow back into his eyes. Thank you. I felt the madness nearing my brain, but now I feel far better. Please take this as thanks. It is all I have to donate to Esteed Vermoor. Be sure he gets it. I shall thank Rachek Knife every day for sending me help. I bowed and returned to Estaid in haste, handing him the rusty scythe that Sir Horogrin gave me. It is so good to know that we saved Limpak. He has given us his scythe as a donation to the temple. We shall find a use for it somewhere. As for your fine work at preserving the life of another, I reward you with the shining star of life. May it guide you in the dark. I thanked as the Edvimor and made my way back to Erudin. In my studies, it is encouraged that I should travel the world to learn new things and, if possible, seek out the relics of the world. With much hesitation, I took the task of seeking out such an item. What I had not expected was the journey for which I was enlisting myself in, and the creatures I would encounter. It was curious the halflings of Rivervale, who which spoke in haste and in a slang or broken common speech. The creatures that inhabit their lands were... Nothing like that of Otis. One of those being a species called Bixie, who darted around and coveted an item called Honeycomb. Also infesting their lands were a pale green sort of goblin. I was told by the gods that they were protecting a cave nearby. Upon leaving the town of Rivervale, I seemed to become acclimated to their way of speaking and felt future dealings with halflings would be far less disorienting, as was the first time I met one such halfling named Kizzy. In the end, I was able to acquire the relic called the Shining Star of Light. May it and Prexus guide me in battle against the poachers and heretics of the world.